Hi there, Ethan with BombBomb. Welcome to the second video in our training series. This one is about the Lists tab. This is where you manage your lists and contacts inside your BombBomb account. So we'll start first things first. Where do your contacts live right now? Well, if you just have them on a plain spreadsheet, uh, you're going to want to do a Save As. You're going to want to do File, Save As, and save it as a CSV file. It's a comma space. It's a simplified spreadsheet. So you're going to want to save that as a CSV file, and then you can upload that into BombBomb. Or if you're like most of our customers, they probably live in another email program or in a CRM. So they're probably in like Gmail, Outlook, or another email marketing program. Or they're in a CRM tool, a customer relationship management tool, or a database, something like a Salesforce. So no matter where they live, you just need to find the export function. And they all have it, and it's very easy to do. We have one as well. All of your information is yours to keep. If you ever want to export any of your lists or any other content out of BombBomb, you're welcome to do that as well. So you just need to find the export function in whatever tool that you're using, wherever all of your contacts are. Now, if you have these people nice and organized already into little groups, export them individually as individual groups. And the nice thing is, when you export these folks into uh, lists, they're going to come out as CSV files. And that's a nice thing. All the email programs, whether again, Gmail, Outlook, or another email marketing tool, or uh, a CRM tool like a Salesforce, they all deal in CSV files. Again, as I mentioned before, so, so does BombBomb. So when you export those people, just save them into a folder or put them on your desktop, and then you can upload them into BombBomb and give them simple names. And Jonathan will show you how to do that in another minute. Uh, so, uh, before I get to Jonathan's video showing you how to manage your lists and contacts, a couple other points here. First, we're a permission-based email marketing software, like all the reputable ones. You can only send email to people who have a reasonable expectation of hearing from you. Good email is timely, relevant, and anticipated. Now, timely and relevant are separate from the lists tab. What's key here is anticipated. You should only be sending email to people who have a reasonable expectation of hearing from you, right? Just because you collected an email address at a trade show six years ago does not mean you should be emailing that person. So what's the rule of thumb? Now, now that you're prepared to look at your contacts, look at your database, think about who you're going to be sending emails and video emails to with BombBomb, here's a, uh, a great rule of thumb. If I picked up the phone, this is a little exercise. I made up, and, uh, and here's how it goes. If I picked up the phone, and I'll perform this as myself now, if I picked up the phone and called you and said, hi there, this is Ethan Butte, the chief marketing officer at BombBomb, the company you use for email and video email sending, right? Something in that series should trigger a, a response for you. It should ring a bell for you, right? As the recipient of my emails, it should be either my first name or last name, my title, the company I work for, or your relationship with my company. So turn that around and perform that as yourself. And as you're looking at the people in your lists, think about, would these people have a reasonable expectation of hearing from me? Those are the folks to whom you should be sending emails. So this is just a little bit about lists and contacts, a little bit about permission marketing. Obviously, if you have any questions at all, we welcome those. But now, Let's take a look at what Jonathan's prepared for you in terms of the highlights of managing your lists and contacts in the Lists tab. Let me introduce you to the Lists tab. This is where all of your contacts will reside inside the BombBomb system. In this example, let's say I want to import a group of contacts from my Gmail account into the BombBomb system. I'll start by typing in my new list name right down here. Next, I'll click on Create List. My new list has been created, and I can see it right down here highlighted in gray. Now, I've exported my contacts from Gmail into a CSV file. Not sure how to do that? No problem, just Google it. How to export contacts from fill in the blank. Now, importing my list couldn't be easier. I start by selecting the list by clicking on it. Next, I click on the Add icon. If I wanted to, I could add one contact at a time by clicking here. Or I could type or paste email addresses into this box here. But in this instance, I have a CSV file. So I start by clicking on Browse. I browse to where I've saved the file here on my computer. And this is what it looks like in Excel. 
It's nice and clean with one row of first names, one row of last names, and one row of email addresses. You might need to take a moment to open your CSV file and make sure that it only contains information you want to import into the BombBomb system. So I select my list, certify that it's not a purchase list, and click here on import. This screen here helps to ensure that the BombBomb system has accurately identified what information is residing in what column. If these weren't first names, for example, I could change that field by selecting this drop-down box here. Everything looks good, so I select import my CSV file. And in a matter of seconds, the BombBomb system imports 100 contacts into my sample list. That's it. My sample list is ready to go. Hey, I hope you found that helpful. And as always, reach out to us if you have any questions. We have a toll-free number. We have a support section on our website. We have webinars, live and recorded webinars to get you more training. So if you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out to us. We have a lot of ways to help you. Next up, now that we've got lists in our account, we're going to take a look at how to get videos into our BombBomb Bomb account. And you'll learn all about the basics of making videos and the ways that other BombBomb Bomb customers are doing that.